Hi, Story Wilson with rswsolutions.com. We're going to work today with the 4D CAN software tool and an Elm 327 wireless device. So go ahead and start your vehicle, plug in the Elm 327 wireless device into the OBD2 port so it has power, and then we're going to check here on Windows 10, we're going to check the available wireless networks that we can connect to, and a new wireless network has appeared. It's Wi-Fi OBD2. We're going to connect to that network. Your network name may change depending on your Elm 327 device. We're going to connect to it. It takes about 10-15 seconds to fully connect. And then we're going to go over to the 4D CAN software tool. We're going to have the Windows Start menu here. Type in 4D CAN and we have a search result with the 4D CAN application. Remember, run the application and not the installer file that you downloaded from the internet. So running the 4D CAN application tool, we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to connect to our Elm 327 device. We're going to hit connect and we have a response. That's a good sign. We have a response from the Elm 327 device. Let's go ahead and proceed to the next step in communicating with the vehicle. Now we're working with a 2008 LR3 and we're going to uh, use this proper tab here, the 2005-2009 Land Rover vehicles. We're going to read the faults in the air suspension module. So the first thing we do is we open communications and this is going to be sent all the configuration to the Elm 327 device. We have transmit and receive. Let's read the faults. We have faults returned and we hit close. Now right there that was a successful communication session and that proves that the software and the hardware and the vehicle are all working together and we're communicating. If you had a problem, immediately after that when you hit close, let's go up here and hit store logs and then hit view logs and you're going to send me this log file right here. It has today's date and it's prefixed with debug. Now go ahead and copy that to the desktop and this file right here is the file that you are going to attach onto an email sent to storywilson at rswsolutions.com and when I receive this debug file I will take a look at it and then I'll communicate back to you the problems that I see and then we'll work together to fix the software and get it, get it functioned properly. Thanks for watching.